You are looking at the all-new 2022 Porsche 911 GTS. The GTS has existed in the 911 lineup since 2011 as the most tracked focus and driver focused version of the car this side of a GT2 or GT3. A GTS comes standard with sport features that are optional on a Carrera S, such as Sport Chrono Plus package, Porsche Active Suspension Management, and Sport Exhaust. The suspension and brakes are closely related to the 911 Turbo, while the overall height of the car is lowered by 10 millimeters. The turbocharged 3 liter flat 6 delivers 473 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. That's more power than the outgoing GTS and 30 horsepower and 30 pound feet of torque more than the Carrera S. An 8 speed PDK dual clutch gearbox is standard, but you can also add a 7 speed manual. There's also a new lightweight design package that saves roughly 55 pounds by putting lightweight bucket seats in front, lighter glass in the back, and removing the rear seats. And so here we are driving finally the 2022 Porsche 911 GTS. We left the Porsche Experience Center in Atlanta about 30 minutes ago, had some traffic, the roads have opened up and that's what you want when you're driving a Porsche 911 GTS. You know, historically the GTS has always been a car that kind of takes different elements of the Porsche 911 entire lineup and combines them into probably the, the most balanced uh, Porsche 911 trim you can get. So you get the, the daily usability and the comfort of the Porsche 911 Carrera S mixed in with some more track focused, more extreme uh, elements of the Porsche 911 GT3. And then you get the bump in power, which doesn't catch up to the 911 Turbo but the 911 Turbo is, is just an insane level of quickness and accelerations that you may not need every day. So the GTS gives you more performance over a Carrera S, more performance that you can certainly feel, um, but it, it's still within the range of reasonable uh, with 473 horsepower. And then you get you know, a louder exhaust that just sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, you can, it's just, whew, it's, it's exactly what you want out of a 911, that pure, authentic, none, it's not, it's not remastered sound, it's not engineered sound, it just sounds so pure and, and so perfect. Um, and then this particular model has the manual gearbox, which I strongly recommend. It's one of the best, if not the best, manual gearboxes you can get on any sports car still today. Um, it also gets the optional bucket seats and the rear seat delete for this model. Now that's an option. Um, and, you know, again, just the, and then of course the unique 911 GTS touches like the Alcantara steering wheel and the red stitching and the blacked out elements outside. For me, the GTS just gives you something more unique. There's just something special about driving the GTS um, and, and just seeing those three letters on the car. In terms of how it drives, I mean, for me, again, this is the most balanced, the, the perfect balance of everything the Porsche 911 gives you. Um, the comfort and daily usability is there compared to, say, like a GT3, which can get you know, a bit much when you're just using it to get to work or to go out on a Friday night. The 911 GTS, you, you can use it to do all of those things and it does it well. 
Um, on the flip side, you can take this car to the track and you're going to get more out of it than, say, in a Carrera S. Uh, obviously, any 911 is perfectly suited for track use, but this one just dials it up a little bit so you can certainly enjoy yourself on the track. For me, the 911 GTS is really for, for people who plan to use it every day. They want to make this their daily sports car, but they also do plan to take it on a fairly regular basis on a racetrack. And that's where this, this car really, really shines, an ability to transfer from one setting to another and perform at a very, excuse me, very, very high level. Um, now, in terms of how this GTS compares to the previous one, if you own a previous generation 911 GTS, well, you're going to find many of the elements that you enjoyed in your GTS. So, the sound, the 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 the, the, the way the car just handles and behaves, all of that is preserved. It's improved, um, but what you also find is is a higher level of refinement and a nicer interior and just a, an overall even more connected feel so it's 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 gotten better like every 911 has gotten better in this new 992 generation the gts has certainly gotten better but the dna of the car and its personality is 100 percent preserved